guys and welcome back to another more with Moro's video. Today's video is going to be a get it all done video, which means I have a huge list, a laundry list of things that I want to accomplish today. So we are going to try to get everything on the list, get it all done. So the first thing that I need to do is I need to put dinner in the crock pot. I make my famous, I say famous, it's not really famous because it is delicious. It is the most delicious roast you ever try. So I'm gonna share that recipe with you guys. But I don't even think I made it last year because I had just had Fletcher and I was pregnant too. So I don't even think I made it at all for fall or winter. And of course you guys are gonna see running kids in the background. So I'm gonna make that today because Frank has been requesting that. I've also got to clean the bathroom rugs upstairs I know Frank has to cut the grass we are trying to make and fill simply etched orders let me show you guys these actually just got washed so we hand wash every single glass because it is going into the laser there's been dust it's been in cardboard boxes and we're handling them so we hand wash every single cup so he's making some and I'll have to wash and then we'll have to package those later I know I've got some laundry to do now that I'm like thinking of everything that I need to do I probably should write this all down I would get questions on my Instagram how do I make my to-do list because it's so satisfying going and checking everything off and this is for iPhone so you just go to your notes make new notes so I'll screen record this for you guys so you guys can see it as I'm making my to-do list there's like a little circle with a check mark you just click that and then you just make your to-do list and every time you hit return it will make a new circle and then whenever you're done you just hit the little circle and it instantly checks it off for you and something about that is just so satisfying so I'm gonna go ahead and finish doing my to-do list and everything that I need to do and I'm gonna take you guys along and hopefully motivate you guys as well so let's go ahead and try to get it all done today so tripod. before the camera goes on the tripod how many days have I requested this meal at least a week now I was actually just talking about that in the intro that Frank has been requesting this meal because I didn't make it at all last year and I always make it every single year and it's so simple but it's so good oh, it's I feel delicious. Like the most simple recipes are the most delicious so we got the crock pot got the liner ready to go the Frank just went to the store and picked up everything that we need to make it so you can either get the chuck or the uh, roast already cut up the beef cut up but you got a shoulder roast boneless yes. so it says pot roast on there but you could also use a chuck roast is I that the same so, thing yes. I, I don't think know. it's kind of the same but not I think you're okay with Either. using any kind of roast that you want so I'm gonna add some sweet peas in there as well usually I don't do peas but I think this time I'm gonna switch up and put yeah. And then this is really what's gonna make it so good. You just need one packet of the original ranch seasoning, salad, dressing, and recipe mix, and then the Good Seasons Italian dressing and recipe mix, and then a packet of brown gravy. So what I'm gonna do- That's gonna tie it all together. Yes, tie it all together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix everything in a bowl, mix all of these in a bowl, and then you're going to put cup, cup and a half, depending on how big your roast is, on top. So I'll show you guys that here in a second, but then just get some baby carrots, a onion, again, optional if you don't like onions. And then I was going to do mashed potatoes, but I think I'm going to cut up some russet potatoes, peel, cut up these, Ooh, and, just and put, them in there. put them in there as well. Another option that you can do is make everything but the potatoes and then later on make mashed potatoes and then you can put your roast on the mashed potatoes. So you can do it one or two ways. So I'm gonna go ahead and start prepping my vegetables, getting everything in the crock pot, and I'll show you guys a time lapse, even though it's pretty self-explanatory, but of course I have to show you the process as well. That theme song that is going around. That's going around, like for when dads. for dads. I wish I could have that playing right now, even down to the dad stance. The dad stance. The dad, the stance, dad shoes. The, the grass cutting shoes. Everything. You just need some New Balances and some like high oh, socks. I'm telling you, New Balances, high socks, some cargo shorts. Yes. Oh, I'd be all over that. And a beer. And a beer. Well, I got plenty of those. We can go out in the garage and get a few of those. I wish we had a before of our grass and what it looked like last year because it looks so freaking good 
this year. And I'm like, so. The camera doesn't do it justice. No, it doesn't. I just want to say I'm so happy that we decided to get a lawn subscription service because without Sunday, we would not be having this right now. No. Like we just mentioned, we are so happy we got a lawn care subscription. Sunday is a new approach to lawn care. We were so impressed that when we first signed up for it, they were able to pull our climate, our lawn size, soil, and satellite data to model our lawn's needs and build our own custom plan. We learned so much about our soil and what was going to work best for our grass. Everything was delivered right to our house, including weed spray, iron boost, which greens up our lawn with a healthy dose of iron and nitrogen, and also green out, which is a great soil booster with seaweed and potassium. Since we do have pets as well, Pet Patch was definitely going to be a must. We love that Sunday's products are safe and effective, especially around the kids and our dogs. All you do is just attach the nutrient bag to our hose and spray Sunday's products for an amazing looking lawn. There are no toxic pesticides, just ingredients that we can trust and feel comfortable with. They also offer additional products to ensure you can care for every aspect of your lawn, including weed control, seed products, and pest control. Since we have Bermuda grass, we ordered extra seed to put onto some of our bare spots in our backyard. The best part is that everything is in one easy to manage, perfectly timed subscription. This makes sure that we are putting down exactly what we need to on our lawn, especially during each season. If you guys are interested in checking out Sunday and want to have the best lawn in your neighborhood, I will be leaving you guys with my coupon code and a link in my description. You guys can get the lawn of your dreams just like us now and make sure to check out everything in my description and to check out everything about Sunday. Honestly though, our yard has never looked better. It looks amazing. But to be honest, our yard has never looked better. So my goal this year was to have the nicest yard in the neighborhood. And I think I'm competing with first right now. It's like every time, even like the neighbors down the street, they were just in front and they were like, your yard looks so good. And I was like, hey, it's taking a lot of time, a lot of effort, and thanks to Sunday, it's happening. To each other, I know. So I realized I can't do anything yet until I clean or wash all of the dishes in the sink. I'm actually curious to know how often do you guys do dishes a day? I was just thinking about this the other day because I feel like we're constantly doing it throughout the day uh, at least three times and in the morning. So we try to run the dishwasher every single night and then in the morning we'll unload it do the dishes and then fill it up all again throughout the day. So that's kind of usually how that goes for us. So I just had to prep my veggies, like I said before, peel the potatoes so I can get ready to cut them. Now, if you guys have been OG viewers of Brittany and Baby, I know this is more with Moros, but Brittany and Baby, then you know I've made this recipe so many times. I have stuck to it because it is that good and you really can't go wrong with it. So you're just going to mix all those three packets all together. Go ahead and put your roast in your crock pot. And what I do is I just sprinkle all the packets mixed together on top of the roast and then add my liquid. So since it is a bigger roast, I added a cup and a half, but I almost feel like I could have gone away with two cups because it was huge. So I think just depending on how big your roast is will depend. You at least want to have it almost covering your roast, I would say. But I'm gonna go ahead and prep my veggies and I was gonna say note this because I, I've already had the rose, I've already made this and everything. Um, I told you guys about the peas. The only thing I regret doing is adding the peas so early because they kind of got a little mushy after it was all cooked. It was still good, but I would just probably add it an hour or so before the roast is done instead of going ahead and adding it in the beginning. But it's totally up to you. I just went ahead and just put everything in there so I didn't have to worry about it but I just wanted to make a note of that. So I have my crock pot filled to the top right now. So now we're just gonna put on our lid. Everything is going to eventually cook down. I know it looks like a lot right now, but gotta trust the process. I have my crock pot on high, and I'm gonna leave it on high for four to five hours. I'm gonna check it throughout the day, or you could do this on low for, I would say maybe like between six and eight hours. So we're just gonna watch it as this video goes on and watch it cook down, mix all together, and it's gonna be so delicious. I'll leave everything down below, all the ingredients down below for you guys so you guys can have it for yourselves. So we're just gonna push this back and let it do its thing. Fletcher is excited for dinner tonight too.
So a majority of the laundry that I needed to do was washing a lot of our rugs. We have a lot of rugs throughout our house. I was just thinking about this the other day. I'm like, I feel like I'm always washing rugs because I like to at least do this once a week because they do get pretty dirty in our house. But I was thinking we have like all the rugs in our bathroom. Well, we have three in our bathroom in the kids bathroom and then we have them all by the doors inside the entryway entryway rug the kitchen slash we kind of move it back and forth between the pantry the playroom there's a lot of rugs in our house and like i said i like to do this at least once a week because they do get pretty dirty and i always get questions about how i go about washing them i just put them in the wash i don't i try not to put too many so maybe like four three or four or five rugs max in there just do a normal wash and then you can either let them air dry or I'll just put them in the dryer just for a little bit, like half of the way, because sometimes um, I've learned in the past that rugs can get ruined that way especially if they're really fuzzy rugs too, so just be mindful of that. I've also gotten a lot of questions in the past about the tile in our bathroom. I don't know the exact name or brand of it, but it is tile, so it made or it's made to look like wood. You guys will see like a little bit of a close up here in a little bit, but it's made to look like wood, but it is actually tile. Again, I wish I could remember the name or the brand. I know when we got or where we were building our house it was an upgrade so if i ever find out you guys i will let you know because i have gotten so many questions about it because i've like what people want to know is it laminate is it wood what is in your bathroom so that that's what it is I never knew love could pass tomorrow comes and you are not around feels uneasy ahead and let my vacuum do its thing actually I need to empty out this majority of what's in here is typically crumbs and dog hair so let me empty this out really quick so what I usually do is I let it vacuum the first let me see if I can do this with one hand there we go uh oh it's trying to close on me I let it vacuum first and then I will go behind after it's done, I'll add the little mop attachment right here and then it will mop for me. It's like, ugh, I swear I love this thing so much because I'm able to do other stuff and it cleans the floor for me in the meantime. So one of the kids also got food. I don't see where else it is. I think it's right here. Oh no, it's over here. I got food on the pillow and I'm scared to wash it. So I'm gonna take some Folex and I'm just gonna spray a little bit. Uh oh, might help to open it. So I'm gonna spray where they got the food, let it sit for a couple minutes and then try to dab it with like a towel or something and see if that will work. to get a little bit out you can barely see it I don't know I might even try to attempt to wash it I just hate washing pillows it's either they it works it washes it or I end up ruining the pillow so for now it's just gonna go back on the couch until I decide if I'm gonna wash it or not so if you guys have not seen my fall clean and decorate with me video because I have officially decorated for fall, I'll leave that link down below in case you guys missed it. It just feels, I love fall and also Christmas decorations just because it feels instantly more cozy in the house. And let me know, am I the only one that cleans with baby wipes? I feel like I clean with baby wipes so much, just as much as I do with like surface spray and everything. Um, I don't know what the kids got on our ottoman, but I just took a baby wipe to it and just wiped it off and cleaned it and it works all right guys so I don't think I've shown you guys the kids bathroom I called it a bathroom refresh because I changed some things around hung a few things um, don't worry I'm about to fix this actually right now every time the kids open and close the curtains oops, every time they open and close the curtains for some reason these always fall off I'm like are you guys in here just like swinging back and forth like what are you guys doing in here i don't know how this always happens so i have to end up fixing it there we go so i just got them this really cute polka dot 
shower curtain. This is from Target. I'll see if I can leave link everything down below for you guys. Um, but I feel like it just brought more color into their bathroom because before it just felt like it was all white. Like there's still stuff I want to do to their bathroom, but I just had to add a little bit of color. I also got a little rug over there, hung up this. This actually used to be on the pantry door. So I'm just repurposing it, putting it in the kids bathroom. And then we hung up this sign above their towels. I actually got questions about this rack. I can't remember where it's from. I want to say maybe Amazon or somebody gave it to me honestly i can't remember but we've just put all the kids towels on here but this sign is from target we also got some new toothbrush holders let me turn this one around and then i have this clear caddy where i keep all their hair brushes we have a lot of hair brushes i have actually tried to put some away down here in that little cubby but they reappear so all their hair stuff is there and then i always get questions about this uh canister this three-tier canister we have their ponytails q-tips and cotton balls in here you can find this on amazon i'll try to link that down below but i just wanted to show you guys the new stuff that i got for their bathroom and now i'm going to vacuum their floor and see as well just washing a whole bunch of rugs so, oh wait I did put Frank's laundry up because it was in the dryer and no I did do my clothes too I have not folded them yet Frank started to fold them but I just threw them on our bed but I do need to wash the kids playroom rug it is pretty dirty I think the last time I washed it was maybe a month ago I think I showed that in like a previous cleaning video it might have been a month or two ago this is why I love ruggable rugs because you can just take the top off this part you can wash and then you just leave this. I just washed our entryway rug that we have right here. There's the bottom piece that I just folded and put over there. But let me just show you guys how I dry it. I hang it from our stair banister or rail. Let me show you guys. That's how I dry it. I let them air dry. I don't put them in the dryer because I don't want them to shrink up and then I just hang it. So it can dry and it's and no water drips down because after it rinses and everything it's just damp. With this one is a little bit of a different story because of how big it is. I'll do it after the kids go to bed because they're not going to be in and out of the playroom. But I'll just drape it over the gate right here and then just let it dry that way. But I'm going to clean up a little bit really quick. Pick up so I can move everything off of it. Actually I need to vacuum the rug because I don't want to put it with a whole bunch of crumbs in there. So I know I've gotten questions like this before because I get them almost in every single video. Somebody was always asking, Brittany, how do you do it? How do you get everything done in one day? Honestly, this is not how a typical day, I mean, we do have very, we have more busy days than relaxing days, I will say that, but this kind of cleaning day is not like a typical everyday clean. This is just when the house needs a little extra love, a little extra care. I'll do this, but this is definitely not an everyday occurrence. Like I said before, I wash the rugs like once a week. This one I probably can get away with like once a month, um, but still even that it's a lot because you have to take it apart. Well, you have to vacuum it, then take it off and wash it, let it dry. You guys will see more of that process towards the end because it does take a lot to wash this rug particularly. I'm trying to like decide, is this easier to do like to wash it like this or would it be easier to carpet clean? That's what I'm trying to decide. But I do, I will say after having a couple of the ruggable rugs, I do really like them a lot. But Definitely not something I do all the time. <laughs> Dishes, on the other hand, that's a different story. This is an everyday thing, definitely everyday thing, multiple times a day, I should say. 
empty the dishwasher just to dump it all over the well, counters. I was say just to dump it all over the counters, but also to just go ahead and fill it up right back again. How do we do That's that? That's how it goes. Kids, just being a big family. All of these cabinets here, all three of these, and that this is one. all dedicated to the kids. But everything has its spot so that when I'm putting stuff away, I know where everything goes. And it's just a lot simpler that way. I'll be sure to link all the kids lunch boxes down below in the description and then I will also link the little silicone cupcake liners that I use I put those in their lunches as well because I always um, people have always been asking me like where do you get those you can also find those on Amazon as well on the roast it's starting to smell so good and it's starting to cook more but I can tell it probably needs a couple more hours because after this cooks the roast cooks I take it out and kind of shred it a little bit and then I'll put it back in here and mix everything together because the veggies are kind of cooking on top and I want it to get in there as well um, after it cooks a little bit more so I'm gonna put this back on and like I said I might check it in like an hour hour and a half and see how it looks then so this was originally not on my to-do list. I had no plans vacuuming or steam mopping the stairs, but then last minute I decided to just go ahead and clean it since they have not been cleaned a while. And even though we keep the dogs downstairs majority of the time, Luna's hair still finds its way upstairs and on the stairs. I'm like convinced that just, they just fly around the house all day because like I said, she stays downstairs. She's downstairs or outside, I should say. I know I'm gonna get questions why we don't let the dogs upstairs. Well, we don't let Georgia upstairs because she is not completely housebroken yet. So we do have carpet upstairs and we just don't want her to have an accident. And then Luna, she, because she is a shutter and a husky, she has a lot of dander as well. And uh, some of the kids, we have even me included, we will sometimes have a allergic reaction to her dander. Sometimes it's worse than others, depending on when's the last time she had a bath. So it gets stuck in the carpet. Her hair sticks to everything. So we found, especially Frank, when Luna was sleeping in the room with us, that we would wake up, or he would wake up in particular, and be having so many allergic reactions. So we just keep her downstairs where it's all hardwood floor and it's easier to clean. So I hope that makes sense. But like I was saying before about when I was cleaning the playroom and the cleaning the rug, like some things are not an everyday thing, but definitely running our business Simply Etched is an everyday thing. We hand wash every single one of our cups, put stickers on all our cups. So Frank's mainly like what he was doing that day was mowing the grass, taking care of the lawn, but also filling orders laser engraving, working the laser, washing cups, putting stickers, boxing, all of that stuff is what he was doing. So that was an all day thing as well because after we had dinner, I went ahead and took the roast out after it was done, shredded it up, and then put it back in the crock pot for a little bit, but it turned out so amazing. You guys will definitely have to let me know on my Instagram or in the comments down below if you guys tried this recipe, what did you think about it, and definitely let me know if you enjoyed it as well. But after dinner, that's when we'll go ahead and start our nighttime routine with the kids, getting them to bed, pajamas, bath, brushing teeth. And then after that, that's usually when we'll take care of the dogs, fill orders, and whatever else needs to be cleaned up from the day. Alright guys, so we just put the kids to bed. I just put all the, or I was in the process of putting all the... Um, she already knows putting the roast in leftover containers so we can have some for lunch tomorrow and now I got to feed Georgia and Luna. Well, actually, I actually already got Luna's food so now I'm getting Georgia's food give her some salmon I know I know you're so hungry I know you're so hungry oh she wants to go there. here let's go mix it up oh wait first I gotta close this hold on mix this up. 
Are we patiently waiting? like these containers. The only thing is that the seal always comes out for some reason. Oh, see? Okay. But other than that, I really like these containers. So like I was saying before, after we get the kids in bed, this is when we clean up anything else that needs to be cleaned up. Actually, let me know if you guys would like me to do some kind of like evening routine and I can definitely do that for you guys and go into more detail of what I clean and how I go about cleaning in the evening and I can do maybe like a relaxing video with relaxing music to that. So let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing that. But typically I just wipe down all the counters, put up any leftovers, wipe down the table, wipe down the chairs, and I didn't mop earlier. I did turn the vacuum on, but because the kids were still running around and they weren't in bed yet, I like to typically mop at night and or when during nap time. So I just let the mop do its thing, cleaned up the kitchen, t closed the blinds, and Frank, like I said, has been working on orders all day today. So just filling orders, making cups. We actually just launched our fall and Halloween cups. So if you guys wanna check those out, you guys can go to simplyetched.com and we are actually gonna be coming out with bibs soon. So we're gonna be doing personalized baby bibs or even toddler bibs so I will definitely let you guys know when those are available but since we just launched these we have been so busy which is good it's always a good busy it's we have enjoyed this so so much um, on top of everything else that we already do and I usually try to help Frank as much as I can but during the day I'm mainly taking care of the kids unless I have to film so I'm usually having to clean and film around the kids where it's actually it's a joint effort like back and forth like during while well, Frank has a cup going he will come watch the kids so I can do something so we do juggle a lot we do during the day um, but then we are able to get so much done at night a lot of people are also like how do you have time for it as well well we also do a lot of things at night as well after the kids have gone to bed all right you guys so I know the get it all done was supposed to be one video but it's gonna have to continue a little bit into the next day I washed that I had it draped over here last night when I took it out of the washer and it dried overnight, but because the kids were trying to go in and out of the playroom, I need to vacuum under here first because there's dog hair and crumbs and things like that. So I'm gonna vacuum that, put the rug down. I have to also vacuum it out to kind of lay it all out and spread it out. And then I'm also going to put this rug down because I didn't get to do that yesterday because I let the mop go. So I just let it mop this whole area without the rug being here. So I'm also gonna do that. And then that's gonna be pretty much it for this video. Looking back on the things that we've taken for granted, but feels like we're learning to be better. So this is the only thing that's a little annoying about the ruggable rugs is that when you're putting the cover back on, it is like sticking to the black mat and you just have to what I usually do is I just take a vacuum and kind of smooth it out that way just to kind of get all those creases out and make sure that it is laying completely flat but I do love them for that reason that I can just you know take them off and wash them but I just wanted to remind you guys before we get to the end of this video to please check out Sunday it has definitely changed up our lawn care so much and we have continued to get their subscription and get all of their products to help out with our yard. So again, I will leave all of that down below as well as all the links and products that I've mentioned in this video. Everything is always for you guys in the description. If I ever forget anything, please let me know. Send me a message or comment down below and I will try to remember to put that in there. But I just wanna say thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you guys enjoy today's Get It All Done. I look forward to reading your comments and responding here in a little bit or after I get this video up. So I just wanna say thank you guys and we will see you in in our next video. Bye guys. Yeah. Dancing closely together and stay